Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with H&M Limousine. Do you have a minivan or a Chrysler Town & Country, a Dodge Caravan, an Odyssey, a Sienna? Well, most times in these sliding doors, the sliding mini uh, minivan door, it actually, when you're driving down the road, it squeaks, you know, you hit bumps, squeak, 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 squeak. And, I mean, a lot of people, they get so frustrated, they actually take the panels off the doors, they do everything. They, they you know, they put, they put, like, installation in there to try to stop the squeaking. They don't know where it's coming from. But, I figured this out. I finally figured it out. Because so many people are having problems. So, what you would do, is you would take, right now, all I have is, some white lithium grease WD-40 nothing special you know and what you would do is I've already done this already so you're gonna see some see right up here the door jam the little areas you just squirt a little bit in there a little bit in there a little bit on the bottom one and when you look see these little see these right here see these little stoppers when the door closes this goes in goes in the hole there and makes a nice airtight watertight seal well these dry rot after time no matter I mean your car could be a 2019 it could be dry rotted already and there's one on the top and there's one on the bottom you can spray these two if you like but it's gonna go into the hole anyway it's gonna go in the hole and it's gonna you know it's gonna get nice and and lubricated and that squeak will go away I guarantee it okay. yeah I mean for a couple uh, for about a year I was actually driving around I mean I was so frustrated having people in the car and they say Michael what's that squeak I go sounds like it's in the door you know and sure enough we could never find the problem though I mean I took the uh, I took the door panel off um, I, I, I uh, put flex seal tape, you know, in certain areas where I thought air was getting through and it was causing a squeak. Um, you know, we just did so many things, you know, we opened the door jam, like I said, we took, we took off the whole panel, you know, we made sure the little, um, the little, uh, you know, points inside were, were sealed closed, you know, like in this area, so when you open it up, it pops open making sure they were closed and this and that and then I was just you know I was just thinking one day uh, and I had I think I had my mother drive the car she was driving the car and I was in the back seat and I was sitting in the back seat and I said mom let's go for a nice long ride so what I would do is I'd sit in the back and I'd hear the squeaking and I'd put my ear up to the door like as she's driving uh, well, of course I'm in the inside obviously but I would put my ear up and I said, the squeak sounds like it's coming from the top. Right then I'd say, it sounds coming from the bottom too though. You know. So after a little while, uh, actually a couple of months of, of that noise torturing us. You know. I finally, I mean, I sprayed everything down. I mean, I took, like I said, I took the panel off. I sprayed, I sprayed everything with lubricant just to see if something was, you know, causing it. And, uh, and lo and behold... It worked, and the squeak never came back. Of course, you got to do the both sides, obviously. You know, but yeah, that's just a little tip from us because I don't see a lot of videos about this, you know, on YouTube. But this is a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan uh, GT, and I had the same problem with a 2011 Chrysler Town and Country, which is the same model, just a different name. You know, it's exactly. I mean, it looks exactly the same. A couple little things that are different, but yeah, and you know, it's just just those little things really annoy people, you know? Those noises that you just can't stop, you know? Or you don't think you can stop. And I actually I brought this into a, a the dealer too, and they couldn't find the problem either. Which was very, very weird. They kept saying, Oh Mike, it sounds like it's coming from the back somewhere. Oh, of course, uh, of course under your car, blah 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 blah. And they could I mean the actual the dealer couldn't find the problem 
So, I mean, that just goes to show, you know. But yeah, right here on the other side, see how I put a nice, you know, a nice amount of uh, like lithium grease, like white lithium grease. You could use like silicone as well. But, and the kicker thing is, I always wondered why when it like rained out and I opened the door and closed it, the noise would stop when I'm driving. I'm like, that's weird. I mean, before I sprayed the stuff in the door, I kept saying, hmm, the squeak's not, I mean, it, which is, it never squeaked after it rained. So, of course, after I thought about it a while, I said, you know something? The rain was lubricating that area for that time frame and causing it not to squeak. But it hit me later on, obviously. But yeah, so this is Michael with H&M Limousine. Click that subscribe button, it's always, and click the bell icon. Click all so you never miss an upcoming video. Alrighty guys, happy new year, have a great day.